Hi guys, it's Richie from Monoline Furniture in beautiful Sydney. It actually is beautiful today, but I'm sat inside because it's Christmas and you get to see my tree. This is a collaboration with Sarah from 445 Designs. I say collaboration, it was a very loose term that we used when we decided on the theme called Aussie Christmas. Now, we may interpret Aussie Christmas a little differently. Let's see. Christmas in Australia rarely consists of cold weather and fireplaces. My plan is to turn the Aussie Christmas into a winter wonderland Christmas. So this is going to become a fireplace. This is going to be a fun one guys. This is a piece of the dressing table that I converted to nightstands. So I'm going to use that. Talk about luck. This is a, a leftover piece from when I put a new back on a, a dresser that I found at the tip. Perfect. Because Gray doesn't trust me with his saw, I'm gonna use his expertise today and I've marked the line with tape and then I've pointed to which side of the line he needs to cut. And when that's cut, that's just gonna sit along the top of here. So it'll give me a little bit of a decorative edge. You asked, you shall receive. This is Mr. Monolane Furniture, otherwise known as Graham. He doesn't trust me with his saw. I don't blame him. I was hoping these shelves would just knock out and be the loose ones, you know, the crap ones that you usually get, that you hate. No, because I want to take these ones out. They're solid. So, multi-tool, here she comes. I've come to the conclusion that my multi-tool is actually an electric toothbrush in disguise. If you've got a multi-tool that you could recommend, please do so, guys. I've managed to get through the main of that there. These two ends, though, they must have hidden screws or something in them that are made of titanium. Poor oh, Harper, she hates the multi-tool. Baby doesn't mind it, she just sings along for fun. I'm through most of it. There's a little bit here that isn't, so let's just see. I have to be careful, not just because I don't want to damage the sides or these, because I need to use these, but if this gets loose on the back, it'll come apart because this is just turning groove. is mine. She finally got blue sky. It's been so long. So this is how it's hopefully going to go together. Nice and smoothly, nice and easily. Let's see. This is wallpaper that I got from Bunnings ages ago that we used in our bar. I'm just going to put that in that middle strip, so that's perfect. This is what I'm using. It only tells you the measurements for, for mixing up the entire thing. I have no idea. I'm just going to make it up as I go along, like I always do. I'm applying it with my sleek 63mm brush both on the paper, on the wallpaper, and on the piece, just to get the best adhesion. Just trimming off the edges here. I'm actually not sure if it's best to do it whilst it's still wet or whilst it's dry. As I was doing this, because it was wet, it was starting to sort of tear a little bit. If you know, please comment below and let me know. I'm also going to send a list of questions to a friend of mine over on Instagram, Clean Cut Painting. I'll actually put the link in the description if I remember to. Time to start building the structure. So I'm just tacking these in place. If it was a real piece of furniture, you wouldn't have the tacks on the outside, obviously. Notice I've put the other one on the wrong way around. I put the shiny surface, the finished surface up front, which will give me 
a more difficult surface to paint. So that's going to have to change. I suppose I should just flip it over, shouldn't I? Make life easier for myself in the long run. I hate having to fix stuff. Another little stumbling block. This is going to create that structure, but there is this gap here. I've got a shed of wood where I've trashed furniture. So what I'm going to do is put a strip of this on either side, and then that will lift it up, and we'll be right. So I just need to get that cut. Final thing to do now, whilst it's still lying on its back, is just to attach the decorative section. Just creating a pilot hole on the back so I can screw into, and then that screw is going to go through three pieces of wood, so pull it all together. I'm now going to plaster this in wood filler. Right, now this sticks out a little bit here. So that encouraged me to get my wood you bend out to see if I could find some trim. And then I found this that I got ages ago. I know that's overkill, but look, I'm pretty sure it was made for it. It's the next morning, all my wood filler is dry. I've got a little bit of wood you bend on. Now I'm just gonna give it a quick sand to smooth off all the wood filler. Then we can finally get into painting. making this project far more complicated than it needs to be it's supposed to be just a quick fun Christmas flip why am I going full-on like I would with normal furniture Off, I want to give it a consistent finish throughout so I'm just going to go with Dixie Belle Boss in grey. I'm using my sleek 50ml brush. I definitely encourage you to check out the sleek website. It's an Australian company. I know they ship to the US. I'm not sure what other color countries they ship to. But just check out their prices anyway. And remember the prices will be in Australian dollars. I think painting detailed areas like this with a round brush is one of my favorite things to do, as well as sitting down painting drawers. The transformation, I just love it. I love getting stuck into all those detailed areas. So I'm using this sleek round brush. They've got, I think it's four different sizes. I want to get this finished today so that means I want to use a silk but I want a beige and there actually isn't a beige in the silk line I'm gonna mix these two Sunkist and Hampton Olive I'm not measuring at all I'm basically just using the leftovers from the Hampton Olive that I threw on the floor in the last video with whatever is left in the sun kiss and it's given me a full pot so i would say it's probably about one part something olive three or four parts sun kiss right let's get this girl finished painting white if you do paint a lot of white what brands do you use please and what product how many coats of primer do you use do you always prime when you do white do you use chalk or mineral or is it called emulsion normal paint anyway tell me what sort of paint you use if you paint white I 
I didn't show the application of the Woody Bend simply because I've done it so many times in previous videos. So feel free to look back on previous videos to find that. But I'll just quickly explain. You heat up the Woody Bend so it becomes pliable and then you just glue it on and, and hold it in place. By making it pliable, it'll mold to that surface and you get a really nice tight bond. The glue that I use is called Weld Bond. I get it from Bunnings. I've seen others use tight bond, even Gorilla Glue. Basically you want a nice strong wood glue. Well, the sun's gone. Look, the monsoon has arrived. Now everything's getting trash. I'm sorry, Sarah, if this video is not done in time, blame Mother Nature. Oh, geez, is it lightning. Oh, oh my what the heck is up with Australian weather at the moment? Thankfully, the piece managed to survive. As you can see, I'd already started this. I thought I was recording and I wasn't. I'm using the Purico French Tip Wax Brush along with Dixie Belle Best Down Wax in white. And then I'm just wiping it off with a tea towel. Any lint-free cloth would do the job. I didn't need to apply a clear wax underneath because the silk has got a built-in top coat. So that gives me that movement. Time for a quick reminder of what we started with. Here comes the big reveal guys. I really enjoyed this. Yes, it did test me, but I am stoked. I love it. Don't forget to head over and check out Sarah at 445 Designs. I'll put the link to her channel in the description. Have an awesome Christmas guys. I'm gonna be taking two weeks off. I need it clearly. I'm making lots of mistakes in my flips. Take good care of yourselves and I'll see you in 2021. Thanks guys.